Hey, what's going on, guys? It is me, Clear Customs, and I am back. Um, now, just for those of you who, I don't know, haven't seen, I, I don't know, just uh, over here, I have never really shown you guys my full collection of custom minifigures I've made. Um, and this is kind of, I don't know, a portion of it. I mean, I still have a whole bowl full of unfinished and just finished and figures, I guess, that I'm going to work on soon and all that kind of stuff. So, pretty much... Uh, these are figures that are either work in progresses, or they're finished, or I'm just really proud of them. So, um, let's start off. Uh, you can see, uh, starting from left to right in the back there, we have my Ultron, then we have my unnamed figure, then we have Yellow Jacket, then we have Rocket Raccoon. Uh, second to last, we have Hawkeye, my work in progress Batman. I'll let you know if they're work in progress or not. Unnamed skeleton figure, and then the white Mandalorian unnamed, um, unnamed guy uh reverse flash he's finished also um by the way the yellow uh the hold on let me see here this guy right here that is, i'm covering his head is a work in progress um the other mandalorian next to reverse flash is finished the this guy is finished ant-man's finished you can't see half of his face though um scarlet witch is finished this military figure is finished. I don't have names for most of these. And then, so, pretty much, these are the figures. Um, a few figures, I'm, this is a work in progress, by the way, because of his knee pads. I sculpted them, and I'm actually really proud of the way they came out. He's almost done. I'm gonna move most of these out of the way, except for the figures I do really want to talk about. So, most of these, if not... Okay... Move this. Um, so these are the four figures that I'm pretty much really working on right now. I haven't touched Batman. Uh, I gave him that Ant-Man type helmet thing. Um, and that's really awesome. So, yeah. Um, this is a figure that I'm pretty proud of. Um, but like I said, I have to paint the sculpted knee pads still in the, just the basic tan color. Um, I'll tell you the official name. I'll just make a video, like, when these are all finished, except for, you know, Batman will be probably his own, so... Um, this is another one. So, I really like the way this one turned out. This is probably my favorite, um, how he turned out. I really like how I did the hat. Um, in the vest and the sculpted knee pads. Once again, green stuff sculpted. Um, if you guys don't know what green stuff is, it's a sculpting clay. Air dry, so this is what it looks like. Um, and then I have the gloves, like the halfway gloves, so that you can still, like, fire his gun. His, the gun that he has, which I don't know where it went. If or Wait, I don't have a gun for him. Um, so yeah, and then the uh, multicam I did was my own design. So, see it right there. Um, you just gave him a head. It's the head in the back. And that's what the back looks like. I kind of like the multicam a lot on the back of the legs. I don't know why. Uh, and then I got the tattoos. And that is that figure. Um, next figure, um, I will show you. Here we go. Uh, another figure. Um, actually, this is uh, partly made from an old figure, too. Um, I gave him some sleeves. I, I'm i probably going to give one of these guys a beard because I feel like they're, more people would have, you know. Uh, I decided to keep this arm, mostly. I don't know why. I just did. And then I painted this gun. So I also painted his gun, which is an M16 with grenade launcher. And then his is just a... I mean, I forgot the name of the gun. And then Batman, I'm still working on him. You can see everything that is on him. Uh, so, yeah, since this is another kind of get-to-know-me video, I'm going to show you guys most of my paints. are kind of like, so what I use is really this apple barrel. I use, also I have, like, a couple of these Craft Smart and Folk Art. These are the three I mainly use. Well, yeah, I pretty much only use these three now. Um, gloss or regular. So, yeah. Uh, I mostly use Apple Barrel. I have a few f a few Folk Art and Craft Smarts. I really don't like Craft Smart, um, just to be completely honest, because I don't know if it was just mine, but it really, it, it kind of looks really bubbly when, uh, when I use it to paint. I don't know why. So, I'm a really big, you know, Apple Barrel's a nice one. 
Folk Art is a really, really nice company, but they are quite expensive. Um, I get mine at Walmart. Um, so Walmart was, I got all these 50 cents a tube, um, gloss, and I also have some regular ones. I don't know why people are like, regular you can't do when you can. Um, this, I think is just regular too. I got that from Michael's, the craft store. Um, because I couldn't find the flesh anywhere else, so. And then I have a few of the bigger bottles. And then Folk Art is, I think, regular too. But, um, so this was like... 70 cents this was a dollar this was two dollars um the i also have a few multi-surface but what i do is i put them i pour water into them and then i mix them up with the water and then it just turns into regular glossy so it works um and then you don't have to pay the extra 50 cents which you know when you're buying 10 tubes at a time adds up quite quickly so i pretty much just save 250 right there um or more than that let's see if you buy 10 tubes that's five dollars. I don't know why my math's not working in my brain right now. Um, but anyways, I also do just like to get the glossy then if they don't screw around with it. Um, well, actually, I should rephrase that. I don't, I don't buy multi-surface anymore because I didn't really know. I thought it was just cheaper, but I guess not. So I just watered the ones I had and then I now just buy glossy and regular. Um, so yeah. That's pretty much the two I, the three, three I should say, I use. Um, now, I'd like to thank, um, who is it? Uh, I'll have to figure out your name, but whoever commented, oh, I'm so sorry, I forgot your name, but I will give you a shout out in the next video. Um, but just so you know who you are, you said, um, something about under, me being underrated, and that's really awesome. Whoever posted that comment, and then this is a figure I'm making for my friend, I pretty much finished them. I just have to do the vest once I get in the vest, which, wait, never mind, I have to make the vest. Still, I'm not sculpting it, no, I never in my whole life. So, yep guys, that's going to be it, um, and anyways guys, I will see you all later.